Sadna from Sadna Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my second part of my first video. This is going to be about the base wrap and this is the second style that I use always and also I'm going to tell you how to do a crisscross decorative wrap. So let's get started. This is the second type of base wrap technique. So for this one, I'm taking the same stretchy wrap and make sure the baby is in the middle of the wrap, like this. And then, also, I had a question from uh, yesterday's video. Um, people kept asking me, or like people, whoever who saw the video, they kept asking me like, can we do a wrap without this? Is it possible to get the wrong shape? Yes, of course. You can get the round shape even without the bean, potato bean. Um, so I'm going to do this wrap without the bean. So for this, um, the baby should be in the middle and make sure the hands are secure. And for this wrap, I'm not going to have the baby's hands outside. So take it from the right and all the way to the left. Secure the hands. Take it from the right and secure the hands. Stretch the wrap, telling that because this is your base wrap which is going to hold the baby in place and the other wraps in place. So make sure you stretch it as much as you can. So since I'm just going to close everything, I'm going to pull the wrap. Sure the baby is uh, comfortable like to make it too tight around the neck and then secure the legs so this is going to give you the wrong shape Take the extra fabric that you have underneath and cover it up. So this is going to give you the round shape. So this is why you need a stretchy wrap. Just make sure you stretch it and work it out here. Then. The wrap from your right and bring it all the way to your left and cover the baby completely. So this is going to give you a, a thick wrap or the thick surface that you know hides the empty space here and here. So and then bring this one all the way here. Make sure you take off all those wrinkles and smoothen it out. There you go. And then bring this to the other side. So if you can see, you get the round shape already. And then turn the baby. Smooth out. 
so as we always do, just tuck in the extra fabric. There you go, you get the beautiful round base wrap. So on top of this, we are going to do a decorative wrap. And this time it's going to be a crisscross wrap. So I'm going to take a double length wrap, uh, which is a long one. I always prefer that so you get smooth and flawless crisscross wrap. Put it in the middle. the wrap equally when you have the wraps folded equally just tuck in the upper layer towards the baby's back okay and then take This wrap has to be as close as possible and then stretch it guys, stretch, stretch, stretch and then go to the other side and bring it to your left, it's just a crisscross. Just make sure you smoothen the surface. This part, bring it up on the other side. And bring this one to the other side. Take the other part just a little bit lower than this one. It depends on your own taste, like how you want it. But you keep, if you keep going up and down, up and down, you're not going to get like a step, like each and every crisscross cannot be seen. So what you have to do is just go um, a little bit lower than each wrap, or like each turn you take. Smoothen the surface right here. And then I think I can go one more round.
and don't worry about the extra fabric that you have you can just tuck it in and since you're going to place it in the beam you're not going to see the extra fabric that is hanging around and then take this part bring it as low as possible and then You can tie a knot if you have extra wrap. You can just tie it right there. This is the reason I love this wrap. You can just stretch it as much as you can. beautiful crisscross wrap. Hey guys! Okay guys, so there you can see the crisscross wrap and it's just placed inside the V. I'm sorry I didn't do any uh, all the decorative stuffs today but the video is all about the crisscross wrap and you just got a question about the potato bean do i use it for each and every wrap that i do no i don't i use this only for um uh you know the potato sack wrap and for the crisscross wrap and if i need it i might use it for my bowl wrap so that's it. I'm not using this for each and every wrap, but yes, I do use this to get a beautiful round shape. But without this one, you can still achieve the round shape. As you can see, this little baby is still here having a beautiful round shape, if you can see it. So you can still achieve the round shape without the being here. but. If you are going to use that, that's going to make your work and your, um, you know, the shape and everything easier. Not every baby stays put when you do the wrap. So I think that would make the baby so warm and cozy. So the baby is sleeping always. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe and there are more videos to come. Have a great day, stay home and stay safe.